the more I think about it, the more I get to realize that there is actually nothing special about the experience of awakening. In fact, I don't know if it can be called an experience as such. I never had any one of those dramatic experiences where I would see visions of gods and goddesses or light because I feel that every vision is eventually lost. It happens in the domain of mind. So, you know, the mind comes up with an image. The image may be of Buddha, it may be of Jesus or Krishna or any other God, but eventually all images dissolve. They come from consciousness and they go back into consciousness. So chasing experiences <clears throat> is in that sense a folly because it somehow it can invoke the ego to think that it is special because it ha you know it has a it had a unique experience. It doesn't matter how blissful your experience is or the way it is imagined because in the end it is just an imagined entity imagined object sometimes you know if you're very quiet and you're sitting all by yourself you will observe a silence a deep silence that itself is a great pointer to the infinity but yes the the stories of grand experiences they do sell because it seems as if the person who is experiencing those experience experiences is somehow enlightened or somehow has something which is of significance or value which the others do not have. My experience on the contrary was very ordinary. In fact, there was no heightened ecstasy, but a feeling of, a simply a feeling of very natural and very loving presence. That's it. Something very obvious which I now realize is always here and now. At that, that time, there was a recognition. And over time, the recognition deepened. But there was never a need to chase any experience as such. So you see, that naturally brings a sense of relief, a sense of calm, which most people underestimate because they are looking for something mystical. They're looking for something which will give them a sort of a high or show them visions. But that is all about me, my story, my trying to become better. What my experience or non-experience showed me was that what the object, the personal entity, me, thinks is insignificant. Thoughts are just an arising in consciousness. They arise in consciousness, they dissolve in consciousness, they are made up of consciousness. So happiness is here and now. The peace is here and now. The peace is the substratum of all that happens. So in that uh, context, you know, chasing any experience is, is not of much value. But of course, in some cases, that does happen.